Welcome back to the channel. Good to have you with me again. Please do me the massive favor as usual to click on subscribe. I am closing in ever closer to 5,000 subscribers now and it's all down to your support. So please spread the word, tell everyone you know to hit subscribe and also consider hitting the join button to look at becoming a member and support the channel. Okay, what are we gonna talk about today? I wanted to share with you a little bit about the MITRE ATT&CK framework, which I've been looking at a lot lately and it's cropping up more and more in uh, some of my day-to-day -day activities. So I wanted to make you aware of it if you didn't already know what it is, what it does. Let's take a look and check it out together. So what exactly is the MITRE ATT&CK framework? Well, you can access this amazing resource at attack.mitre.org and it takes you to this homepage where it tells you uh, a little bit about what it is. So it's a globally accessible knowledge base of adversary tactics and techniques based on real world observations. The attack knowledge base is used as a foundation for the development of specific threat models and methodologies in the private sector, in government, and in the cybersecurity product and service community. And with the creation of Attack, MITRE is fulfilling its mission to solve problems for a safer world by bringing communities together to develop more effective cybersecurity. Attack is open and available to any person or organization for use at no charge, which is awesome. Fantastic. This is a very, very user friendly website. So you can. Have a look at the matrix right on the home page here, attack matrix for enterprise, and you get a nice layout of um, what we have in terms of principles such as reconnaissance, resource development, initial access, execution, persistence. So it's all of these sort of techniques that attackers will use, privilege, escalation, defense evasion, etc. etc. Lots of stuff going on here, right across. You can move it across right where all across to exfiltration and impact. We can see um under reconnaissance and if we we click on reconnaissance we we get a really great description of what reconnaissance is so in this case the adversary is trying to gather information they can use to plan future operations and consists of techniques that involve adversaries actively or passively gathering info that can be used to support targeting. And we can see under reconnaissance, we've got lots of different techniques like active scanning and scanning blocks and et cetera, et cetera. So this is an absolute gold mine of information on um, tactics, techniques, uh, and, and uh, all that sort of stuff. And you can go through all of what was on the, the homepage here, resource development, we can see the the techniques within resource development, initial access, execution, persistence, privilege escalation is a big one, a really, really dangerous uh, thing to be looking out for. The adversary is trying to gain a higher level permissions within your organization. So some of the techniques that are used here in order to get that elevation of privilege uh, within your organization. So really cool stuff indeed. But if we go back to the to the home page we can see here we can see all of these different principles as we say we can change the layout we can look at the layout uh, uh, under side format we can change it to flat layout so you can see uh, all of this information in the format that you want to see it in I kind of prefer the the side layout but it's going to be um, preference for the individual for for sure what you can actually do here as well you can click to show the sub techniques in this view also which is really really handy you can see under reconnaissance we've got active scanning and then all of those uh, sub techniques and a really wonderful view here and anywhere through this you can click on any of these things they're all linked might have done a wonderful wonderful job uh, in terms of um, all of this uh, information. Now, if you want to know more, if, if that is not enough of a, uh, a description of what's going on here, I mean, you can take a tour, you can contribute yourself. This is open to contribute to. There's a blog you can take uh, a look at as well. And what I particularly like here is the FAQ. So a wonderful table of contents here of the FAQ, and we can see what exactly is attack. Um, it's a knowledge base of cyber adversary behavior and taxonomy for adversarial actions across their life cycle. So attack has two parts, attack for enterprise, which covers behavior against enterprise, IT networks, and cloud. 
and Attack for Mobile, which focuses on behavior against mobile devices. Why was this developed? Well, MITRE started Attack in 2013 to document common tactics, techniques and procedures, otherwise known as TTPs, that advanced persistent threats used against Windows Enterprise networks, created out of a need to document adversary behaviors for use within a MITRE research project called FMX. So lots of information there in terms of why, what are tactics, what tactics represent the why of an attack technique or a sub-technique. It is the adversary's tactical goal, the reason for, for performing an action. For example, an adversary may want to achieve credential access. What are the techniques? It tells you all about that. What are sub-techniques and procedures? What are the differences between sub-techniques? and procedures. What technologies can attack apply to? Now, earlier on, it said that it was developed for Windows Enterprise Systems, uh, but it's developed over time to include Windows, Mac OS, Linux, network infrastructure devices, and container technologies, cloud systems covering infrastructure as a service, software as a service, Office 365, Azure AD, more appropriately known as Microsoft Entra these days, and Google Workspace mobile devices covering Android and iOS 2. How can we use it? Well, uh, attack can be used in several ways to help security operations, threat intelligence, security architecture, and you can go to the Getting Started page for resources on how to start using attack and check out the resources section. How often is it updated? It's biannually, which, um, which doesn't seem a lot, to be fair, uh, when you consider the threat landscape. That's an interesting thing to note. Where does the info come from? Publicly available threat intelligence and incident reporting is the main source of data. You can find out how you can contribute. Um, what is my favorite threat group in attack and why? So this is this individual who's wrote this FAQ, presumably. Are there APIs? Yes, there are. Staying informed, lots of amazing information. So. Wonderful stuff indeed. How does this relate in the Microsoft world or how can we as Microsoft professionals take advantage of this? Well, one of the ways that uh, we can benefit from it is in the Defender world, uh, in the security portal, security.microsoft.com. There are a couple of good articles that show you exactly how this uh, can uh, take place, what uh, what the benefits are. So, um, and what it, uh, involves is aggregating alerts into prioritized incidents to streamline an investigation experience. So Microsoft 365 Defender streamlined their investigation experience by correlating more than a thousand alerts into significant incidents and identified complex, seemingly unrelated links between attacker uh, activities across various domains. Uh, Time to remediate is obviously critical in a ransomware attack. An M365 Defender's Incidents page simplifies the SecOps experience by providing essential context on active alerts, key devices, impacted users. It also allows the defenders to enable both automatic and manual remediations that offer insightful and actionable alerts rather than filtering through unrelated events that can add strain on resources, particularly during an existing attack. EDR further enables analysts to approach investigations through multiple vectors, providing detailed behavioral telemetry that includes process information, network activities, kernel and memory manager deep optics, registry and file system changes, and user logon activities to determine the start and scale of an attack. So uh, can we expand this image? Yes, we can. So figure two here, it shows Microsoft 365 Defender's incident page correlating all the devices, users, alerts, and evidence that describe the attack simulated by MITRE Ingenuity. So if we enlarge that, you can get a good appreciation for uh, how this is working. So here we can see um, active alerts based on 11 MITRE attack tactics and five other alert categories. So it's bringing these all together to simplify the process of remediation, which is a wonderful capability to have within Microsoft 365 Defender. Uh, I'm showing you this in the context of um, the, uh, the, the actual learn.microsoft.com 
page here. Actually, it's not a learn page. It's just a, a normal Microsoft website page uh, because within my own sort of test tenants, I, I don't really have anything in, in the way of incidents to show you, which is a bit frustrating. Um, well, I do actually, I have one there, which uh, uh, I can sort of go into and show you how this looks similar. So you can, you can see you get a similar sort of view with the incidents and descriptions of it and, uh, and whatnot. So, um, uh, but I do have other tenants that I could demonstrate this in, but um, I, I'm unable to do so because of uh, uh, non-disclosure agreements, shall we say. So, but absolutely wonderful um, resource. And I encourage you all to get to know it and become aware of its capabilities. It's going to do a lot for uh, the EDR uh, and XDR world within Microsoft. It's been around for a while, so it's very mature. It's uh, being updated, as I say, on a biannual basis. So go check it out. Let me know what you think of it. And there you have it. Absolutely brilliant. So MITRE uh, is one of many frameworks that are out there. Um, there are ever more in the ever-growing world of cybersecurity, but MITRE is a really good one. Uh, lots of great content in there. It's free to use. You can contribute to it as you saw, and it uh, can be uh, very, very relevant in the Microsoft 365 world as well in Microsoft 365 Defender. So let me know if you've used it, if you've benefited from it, your experience with it, good or bad. Always like to hear your thoughts in the comments. Right, let's wind up the video. As always, if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Helps me so much. Like, share, and subscribe. Learn, share, and repeat. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.